Hello students, this is Priyanka Bagji from SBM Sinidi and I am back with the explanation of the concluding part of the poem The Squirrel by Mildred Bowers Armstrong and to discuss its rhyming scheme with you. This poem is from Honeycomb of class 7 which you all must know. Coming to the concluding part. And while concluding the poem, I would say that this poem is a very short and simple poem. Actually, it is a close observation of the poet is of a very simple, small and common squirrel. And we would say here that this shows the innocent uh, nature of the poet is also who chose a very simple topic for her poem when she must have so many great topics around. So this shows her innocent characteristics also. And this simple poem, the poet is presented before us in a very simple language. And she, uh, through uh, this poem, she tries to present before us the common characteristics activities, appearance and behavior of a very small and common animal, a squirrel, which we all must have observed around us very closely. So, this was the conclusion of the poem. Now, coming to the chapter, the original poem, through which we will discuss the rhyming scheme of the poem. So, you must have a question, what rhyming scheme is? So, let me tell you that some poems have rhyming schemes and some have not. The poems which do not have rhyming schemes, they are known as written in free verse or unrhymed. But some poems have uh, rhyming schemes and this poem also comes under such kind of a category. So, what rhyming scheme is, let us discuss. Here you can see that the poem is having only 6 lines, which we have already discussed that there are only 6 lines in this poem. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Okay. So only six lines and as line by line if we read the poem he wore a question mark for tell and overcoat of grey. Are you getting any similar tone between these two lines? Similar tone means to say uh, rhyming words in these two lines at the end. The last word of this line is tell. The last word of this line is grey. There is no uh, tone in similar. That's why we would have to denote it with different letters. Like if we give it A, we will have to give it B. Coming to the third line. He sat up straight to eat a nut. He liked to tease and play. Third line, nut. It is also not similar with the lines before like tail, like grey, it is not different from each other. So we will have to denote this with a different letter C. Coming to the fourth line, he liked to tease and play, play and grey. Similar in tone, we have already given it B grey b the play also we will give it b okay coming to the next line and if we ran around his tree he went the other way tree there is no similar in tone tree no similarity from the lines above tail grey nut play tree we will have to give it a different letter we will have to denote it 
with a different letter tree a b c we have already taken so we will have to give it d the last line he went the other way way is similar with play and gray what we have already given to these uh, words b b we will have to give it b okay so how does it stand on the whole it stands as a b c b d b isn't it a b c b d b so the rhyming scheme of this poem squirrel is a b c b d b this much hope you understood it well this way this way you will try to find out rhyming schemes in other poems also this will be a task and here the explanation of the poem is given and the, the exercise is fully done here here some extra questions given for you to do yourself you will try with the help of the poem this much for now and thank you for watching goodbye